Uh, I think so. I mean, I think that we've got depth at every position. I think we got, uh, you know, all those receivers can play. Uh, I mean, that's as, that's as good a group as we've had. I mean, I think I literally think our nine scholarship guys uh, all one day will play after Clemson. You know, they're all at different stages of their development, but they all have the skill. They all have what it takes. Uh, now, health. You know, will they will they have the stick to itness to develop and hang in there? But I think we got a really really deep group there. Um, you know, I like our tight end group. I'm anxious to see Milan uh, kind of get in a bigger role. Uh, love our quarterbacks, love our running backs, and, and it's definitely the best OL we've had. I think we've got uh, very, very, uh, you know, versatile and competitive guys up front that can move around. You know, a guy like Taylor Hearn, for example, he starts at guard, but he can go play left tackle in a, in a second and not miss a beat. Uh, Pollard, he can play tackle, he can play guard. Ankrum, play right tackle, left tackle. I mean, we, can, we got a lot of versatility. Uh, Cervinka has been a big plus for us uh, in, in where he is. John Simpson, wow, what a, what a future this kid's got. Uh, and, and, you know, gonna also can play guard, can play tackle. Uh, Maverick Morris plays four positions. He's a senior, won't start uh, to Saturday, but will play starter snaps. You know, Crowder, uh, been around here. I mean, just, just a really veteran group that's, got, that's deep on experience. And, uh, and got a lot of talent to go with it. So, um, you know, that's where it starts for us. So we got, we've got some pieces, and that's the good thing for our quarterback. You know, he doesn't have to – he don't have to be Superman. Uh, we just need him to, to do his part and, and, and just be the best version of him, uh, play in and play out, and we'll have a chance to be successful. Have you specifically recruited guys on the offensive line that can play multiple positions in case guys go down, or is that just something that's kind of – Happening, you didn't really think about, or is that all kind of playing in advance? Is this guy can play two. No, we try to we try to recruit guys that that have some versatility. I mean, you know, Crowder's not going to go out there and play tackle, uh, but he's if we're going to take a guy that's that's maybe limited as far as what he can do, he better be special. And that's I mean, Crowder's special. Uh, now he could, Crowder could play center too if we needed him. Uh, in fact, he he might have to play center at the next level, but uh, he's special at, at his position. Uh, but we love those guys that have, you know, that give us flexibility. So we can get the best five in there, you know. Sometimes you might, you know, you, your, your, your second tackle might be better than that starting guard, and, and he can play guard too. You want to get your best five in there. So uh, we try not to just be so uh, uh, short-sighted in that from a recruiting standpoint. We absolutely – you know, looking for guys that, that bring versatility uh, to the table. You mentioned throughout camp the importance of facing adversity. You called out the offense after some tough practices, the defense after the last scrimmage. How challenged do you feel the team has been and how have they answered those challenges? Yeah, well, that's, that's uh, they're really challenged. And, and that, that's one of the things that y'all have heard me say, the local folks around here is the reason why we've been successful. You know, uh, what we see on our practice field. I mean, you, you get, if you don't, if you just show up one day and you're like, you know what, I'm just going to kind of lay in the weeds today and kind of set back, you're going to get exposed quick on our practice field because we got a high level of competitors. I mean, we, these guys are very, very competitive. They want to perform at a high level. They don't like losing. And so you show up in that one-on-one -on -one drill, you show up in the pass rush drill, you get over there in Skelly, you get in team. Uh, and we do a lot of good on good, a lot of good on good all year. And so that prepares us. So that's the big thing. And then what we see in our conference, week in and week out, that's why we have been successful in the postseason. Uh, but certainly it starts with what you see on the practice field. Uh, so it's, they've, they've, they've been challenged. It's, there's no easy days out there for them. Uh, and again, you've got a bunch of uh, guys that take a lot of pride in their performance. You've got a lot of guys working on punts and kick returns. Um, do you have a plan going in for how many guys you'd like to get in there or you just start with Ray Ray and Cornell and kind of go from there? Oh, no, we've got several guys that we'd like to see over the course of the season. Um, but uh, hopefully we don't get many kick return opportunities. Uh, I'd settle for one a game. Uh, be be great. But uh, we do. We've got, we've got some really good skill. Uh, we've worked hard on that. And um, we think we've got some, some guys that are ready. Uh, they just need some opportunity. 
Uh, Cornell is one of those guys. I mean, did a great job for us in the spring. Uh, we think he's got a little knack for it. Uh, he certainly did in high school. Uh, was tremendous, but uh, will that translate? You know, we'll see. Uh, but you know, we want to. We definitely want him to have an opportunity. We've got several guys that we'd like to see from a kickoff return guy with Feaster, Cornell, uh, uh, Amari, uh, Edian. Uh, I mean, we've got a bunch of those guys. Uh, Fuller had one of the biggest plays of the year last year, you know, without a shoestring tackle, probably makes a house call in the national championship game. So uh, has great vision for what he's doing. Uh, you know, Dion's a guy that could, that could return kicks. You know, Mark Fields is a guy we've looked at back there. Um, you know, so we've got a slew of them, uh, but obviously you can only put one out there at a time. And, and uh, you know, we're going to start out with Cornell um, and uh, try to see if he can, he can take that job and run with it. And then at punt return, uh, right now it's, it's uh, Ray Ray and Renfro and, and Amari. Those are the three guys. Uh, Trapp's another guy that, that has a really good knack for it as well. Uh, but uh, Ray Ray, Ray Ray has worked really hard. Uh, I just don't think he, t he brought the right mindset into it last year. And he just kind of, he's a great athlete. Just kind of took that for granted just a little bit as far as just really uh, how hard it is, how hard of a that's a really hard job. And uh, he lost his confidence, and obviously we ended up making a, a change there. But but he could be as good as we've ever seen, as good as anybody in the country, uh, if he'll just you know be a consistent guy for us. I mean, you got to possess the ball. That's number one. So whoever's going back there, that's going to be job number one. Anything after that, hey, that's that's gravy. But we got to get the ball back. Uh, you, we can't we can't have uh, turnovers and all those type of things from a return standpoint. That just it can't happen. And so uh, we won't, we won't have much tolerance for that. We don't have to because we got a bunch of guys that can do it. And uh, so we'll that'll all work itself out. And I think at some point you'll see all those guys get opportunity. Uh, but but we'll definitely start out with Ray Ray. Will we see him play DB? Some? I don't know. You know, I mean, we we he's prepared to. Uh, he definitely could go do it, and I think do it at a at a high level. It's just a position we've got a bunch of good players, and um, but but I'm really glad that we we put the work in. Uh, I think it's 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 good for our team. It's good for Ray Ray, and um, but he definitely could go do it, and um, whether or not he gets the opportunity. You know, I don't know. We'll see. You talked about your get ready and transformation phases. What's the biggest transformation you saw in Kelly Bryant? Uh, confidence, swag. You know, I, I think I think this spring, you know, just kind of going out. I mean, he was the first guy. Just hey, you're the first guy. Go out there. We got to start somewhere. And I think uh, I think this spring maybe, and he did he did a good job this spring. But I but I think it was. You know, it's almost like he's just trying to be this perfect quarterback and instead of just being Kelly. Uh, and, and what I saw from spring to camp, which is what we call our transformation phase, uh, just tremendous growth in his confidence uh, and just, you know, pulling the trigger, not being hesitant, you know, just trusting his ability uh, and so it's been fun. It's been fun I, I, to, to watch him in fall camp uh, display great confidence. And, 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 he, and it just kind of grew and grew and grew as he went through camp. And now I'm seeing leadership. He's always been a great leader, but, but I think that um, you got to be confident in yourself before you can really lead uh, at that position like you want. And that's, that's the next part of the transformation that I've seen in him. Some of the procedural stuff on offense with all the new parts, are, is that something that you put in the category of, well, guess what you see, how Kelly knew in front of all of Yeah, I mean, we, we, most of the procedural stuff that we've had uh, in fall camp has been kind of the stuff that you expect when you're repping three groups, uh, some offsides, you've got some wide outs out there not keying the ball, they're, they're moving on defenders instead of the ball. Uh, things like that, but we haven't had a ton of just, you know, bad procedural stuff, you know, whether it's uh, guys lining up wrong, 12 men in the game, you know, those type of things. We've been pretty, been pretty clean on that, and I expect that to, 
to be the case on Saturday. But I, I, w- I, I want to see us play better. That's one thing I'll say. I, I, I thought defensively we kind of got off to a pretty good start. But as a team, we did not complement each other very well early in the season last year. Offensively, man, we moved the ball up and down the fields, but we couldn't catch the ball. We dropped at least four touchdowns in the first couple of ball games. And so it, it, it created some drama and some strain. Uh, and so I, I want to see us, you know, play a little cleaner from that standpoint uh, and, and finish, make the layups. Let's make the layups. We missed a bunch of layups the uh, first couple of games last year. And so as a result, we just didn't complement each other like we needed to. And I want to see us, you know, uh, you know, play well as a group, uh, offense, defense, special teams, really complement each other, not have to, you know, one side struggle and, you know, somebody else got to compensate. I want to see us you know, all play a little cleaner and, uh, you know, and finish and, and make those make the layups, make the plays that are there that we're supposed to make, and then uh, go from there.